How's it going everybody? Checking in on the second Vermented Snail update video. And short update really, just wanted to show you guys uh, how it's a really dumb idea in my opinion to do this super glue. Why? Well, it looks awful. Like guys, just look at this. My, my wife is even like laughing at me in the background because she's like, I don't know what my husband has been doing. Anyways, this is, this is what happened. I mean, I was working on the brain coral. He already had a problem. Now he looks like he has a problem. At least before, you'd have to know he had a problem. But anyways, um, let's see if we can't. There we go. Here's, here's what's going on here. I mean, it's just covered with all this goofy frickin' super glue. So, and, and you can see... There's a ton of these outcroppings um, there on the left. And those are all vermented snails, the ones that I couldn't get. And so I basically wasted a whole bunch of time with all the super glue. You can see it on the right hand side too. So it's just a dumb idea. Don't do the super glue idea. Um, I found over here, I turned the blower off so hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, totally, totally can see it in there. So there's a bunch of white right there, and that's because I found a massive colony of vermented snails. So I tried to go after those, and I was like, you know what? These red redactus mushrooms are a giant pain because they've been going after the tangerine samacoras spot for a while. So I was like, why don't I go ahead and put some super glue on their mouths? Because multiple people had said to do that. That's a dumb idea too. So. Why? Well, basically, the super glue just goes everywhere. It doesn't stay actually on the coral. And uh, I think I only actually killed one of the one of those uh, those mushrooms by doing it. So um, and then what happens? Well, then you get a bunch of the glue, the super glue, going into like really weird, difficult spots that you can't get, like where my finger is pointing. And then you have to go ahead and get that stuff out. So. Anyways, guys, the super glue method, I would say just don't, just don't do it. It's, it's a dumb method. Um, a better method, which I have been doing, is you go ahead and you get some pliers, needle nose pliers. So basically, um, with these pliers, hopefully you can see them. Let's see if I'm bringing it to the light here. There we go. So I actually just got these on Amazon. Um, they're like 18 bucks. So they've got these great needles right here at the end to go after. All right, yeah, I can't focus on that. Anyways, basically, you know those pliers, just go in there and just pinch them off one at a time. And when you've got like hours to just go waste time with because that's how long it takes. So I'll be checking in. I'm going to be taking off all of this goofy goofy super glue this was a dumb mistake guys don't do it and um maybe we're gonna go ahead and get some bumblebee snails i don't know my only concern is a lot of people say bumblebee snails will go after your other invertebrates in the tank and uh, i would be really upset if like some of my giant mexican turbo snails that are in this main tank uh got munched on after uh after a bumblebee snail got to it so, um, there are some I found on the bubble coral, which I'm not excited to have to go after. Um, they're, they're just basically towards that center arch in the bottom of him. Um, that's where there's a couple. Uh, here's a little bit of wisdom that I'm going to impart to you guys, though. How do vermented snails get around? This guy. This guy right here. Um, that I can't zoom in on. Yeah, can I zoom in on him? Well, it's a crab, everybody. It's a crab. And why am I saying it's a crab? Well, basically, these crabs and these snails, I don't have a good example of one right now. Let me see. There's a couple that are in this tank. Um, let's see. Is there any in this one? Well, I can tell you this one right here. Um, I was actually working on his shell earlier. And basically the vermented snails, they go all around the tank 
with their own little carriers, these little blue-legged hermit crabs and your snails all over the place. So guys, do yourself a favor, and when you see them on the actual crabs and the snails, go after those ones first. Go ahead and pinch them off and, um, or clip them off. And uh, just keep going after the ones for sure that you actually see on the crabs and the snails because they're going to keep distributing those stupid things all across your tank. So hope this helps you guys out. And, um, you know, we'll go ahead and keep posting updates on how Mr. Bubble or Mr. Brain Coral is doing um, and what he looks like after I have gotten off all this amazing looking super glue. Thanks, guys.